Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. I'm gonna be the first tee time off the back nine. A little bit of morning fog out here. Looks like it should be a fun time. Let's do this. Okay, welcome to the course vlog of the day. This is gonna be nine holes, the back nine at Shawnee Golf and Country Club. And today we're gonna to talk about how to score when you're not hitting at your best. I was not really playing as good as I could have, or hitting the ball as good as I could have, but I scored a little better than I probably should have with the way that I was striking it. And we're gonna talk about how you can learn from that and what you can take to your rounds as you go forward. For this shot, uh, you really can't go left, so I just aimed way right and hit as hard as I could. And, I mean, I had tons of room right, so I knew that, that even though it wasn't as easy to play from over there, I knew that being in this spot was a lot better than hooking it into the stuff left and having to take a drop. So, a little course management there. For this shot, I had about 210 yards into the green. Just took a five iron and my foot slipped a bit there so I caught it kind of fat but it was online so just short of the green easy little pitch getting this onto the green letting it roll out most of the way a little morning dew so it didn't go quite as far as it should have but still pretty good left myself about a five foot tester this one broke about six inches from right to left and if I remember correctly I hit a pretty good putt here yeah dead center so there's a birdie to start my day off Really didn't hit that many good shots, but still got it in the hole, one under par. This one you really can't miss left or right. You, it's actually better to be in the right side of the fairway because there's trees that can block you. It's a dog leg left par four, so ideally you want to be right center of the fairway. Did not hit a very good shot here. Hooked this pretty far left into the trees on the left and got unlucky. Um, yeah, just directly behind a tree. Kind of had to pin, punch it out. Just try to get it back into the fairway. Left myself about 220 yards. Green is, um, I'll put a pin where the green is, you can see it. But uh, yeah, I had to take it over this tree with a four iron. Nice little high draw. And hit it about perfect. Nice well balanced swing. Right at the flag. Can't see it land because of the trees there, but I was able to hit it to about 15 feet right below the hole. Pretty straight putt. So, all things considered, I can be happy with that birdie opportunity and stay patient, which I'm proud of myself for. This was a solid putt, little ring around the rosy as it went in, so two birdies in a row to start the day. Ideally, I would want to birdie those two holes because they are reachable par fives for me. This one I hit a pretty rough. <laughs> Rough hook, almost hit it in the crap on the left, but uh, stayed in play luckily, and left myself kind of a thick lie. Um, this wasn't a very good shot. I hit kind of a little bit behind it, and the grass kind of grabbed the face, whipped it over to the left, stopped short. So I left myself about a 50 foot birdie putt here, just trying to lag it in there for par. Don't want to get too aggressive on this, because uh, if I get above the hole there, I know it's a really tough putt. So. Another course management thing, think about the shot you're going to hit after. Now this, uh, I hit this one a little bit right, which isn't good, because the pin's over there tucked on the right, so it's not a very good angle. And also the grass hasn't been cut over there for a while, so it's super thick. You can see when I set my bet, I, uh, camera down behind the ball, you can't even see the ball anymore, it's so thick. About 68 yards here, I took a full hack at this and didn't even get it. I probably advanced it 40 yards with a full swing. But yeah, left myself this chip. Um, I could have gotten a little more delicate with it and tried to get it closer, but I was more uh, concerned with leaving myself a putt instead of leaving it short, maybe dumping it in the bunker. And I was able to, to convert on that 10 foot par attempt. This one was playing a little bit downwind. I hit a seven iron, kind of caught it fat. As you can see from my reaction, it wasn't the best contact, but Good line, and I managed to get it on the green. Another lag putt here. Once again, trying to leave it below the hole, because above the hole it gets really difficult, and just tap it in for par. This is a dog leg right par four here. It is reachable if you cut the corner, which I elected to do, and hit pretty much my best drive of the day. So left myself uh, probably about a 50 foot eagle putt. Had about 10 foot of fringe to go through. Didn't hit it quite hard enough. Left myself about 10 feet short. So, another ticklish one, but 
I've been putting pretty well today and that goes a long way to save shots. Um, when you make those eight to 10 footers, it really does go a long way for saving shots. And right here, I hit a really good putt. This is probably my best putt of the day, if I had to be, if I had to rate it. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is a 230 yard par three. And I hit a knockdown five iron because it's a little bit into the wind and it's super downhill. And you can see from that follow through, I left, lost it out left again and had another really thick lie. Could have gotten delicate with it, but you know, the main goal here is to get it on the green, leave yourself a putt. You can see the ball kind of rolling past the hole. Left myself another 10 footer for par, but if I try to get delicate with that and I try to hit a big old flop shot, there's a chance I might not even get it on the green. And I'd rather have that 10 footer and guarantee myself that than try to do something cute and end up making bogey or double if I get another bad lie. So another good putt here. Um, very happy with that. And I should mention um, on those holes, the flags were taken out. So that wasn't me taking the flags out. The maintenance crew just hadn't put those flags back in yet. A little early round action. <laughs> little running in, run ins with the maintenance crew. Gotta love it. This is the hardest hole in the course. Number 17, it's a 425 yard par four, dog leg right. Um, trouble on both sides. And I hit this left into the rough, which is, as you know, on a dog leg right, hitting it left is not good. Left myself probably 215 yards here. Pretty tough shot, but I hit a really good four iron and I drew a pretty good lie. So I was able to hit this right at the middle of the green, leave myself a little uphill putt for birdie, which I was happy with. Um, yeah, there's a lot to be said for course management, but you also have to be able to step up sometimes and just hit good shots, and I was able to do that there. This is a... That was a good putt. I mean, it could have been better. I think I missed it probably a foot to the left. But it was good speed, good aggressive speed. I would rather hit it, hit it two feet by and give myself a chance to make it than um, leave it short and have no chance at all. Especially when it's a putt like that where hitting it past the hole is not too difficult. And this was just not a good swing. There's trouble over there to the left, and as you can tell from the previous holes that my missed that day was left so I tried to just hit a big old cut and did and pushed it so not the best result this year it looked like a pretty open shot but those trees actually were an issue I had to kind of hit it through this little gap I'll put a circle on it that little gap right there and I closed down the face and juiced it over the green on accident so <laughs> hitting this one out of the weeds just kind of trying to hack it out onto the green and Kinda didn't hit it as hard as I could have. Didn't want to hit it too hard and bash it over the green, but ended up leaving myself a 35 footer for par. Good effort, but not good enough. That that, that had to have lipped out, but yeah. Bogey on my last hole of the day to shoot 34. Yeah, it could have been better for sure, ball striking wise, but scoring wise, I don't think it could have been a whole lot better. With how I was hitting the ball, 34 is pretty good. And I think the biggest thing I took away from that round was you really just have to get up and down in every opportunity you can. If you were paying attention, if you're keeping score on my scrambling stats, I had a 50 footer on 12 that I two putted. Got up and down from about 20 yards on 13, 50 footer on 14 that I two putted, up and down on 15 and 16, and then 17 I just played good golf, and then 18 I kind of let that one get away from me. But other than that, you know, taking advantage of the shots that you hit, as you can see, did not hit it well at all. Still shot 34, and if you've ever heard somebody say, oh, I didn't hit it well, but I scored well, that's what that means. And that's something that I've been told all the time by good players is go out there and play well and if you don't play well score well and that's how you make money and that's what I've been trying to improve and that's why all good players spend about three hours a day working on the short game and that's non-negotiable got to work hard in short game in order to be a good player so yeah hope you guys learned something today um, I don't claim to know everything about golf but I have been playing it for a while so if you're looking for some advice I'm your guy. And yeah, thanks for tuning in to this episode of uh, Course Vlogs with Ben Haddon Golf. And make sure to tune in next time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Add a D to the end of subscribe. Like this video. Comment what you'd like to see next. Um, yeah. Deuces.